What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be taking a look at my quarantine tank project. If this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything saltwater aquarium related. So if you love saltwater aquariums like I do, gently press that subscribe button. What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and if you've recently seen my glass drilling video as well as my PVC pipe video, you know that I've been up to something. And over the last couple of months or so, I'd say two months, I've been working on a quarantine tank system. Now recently I was reached out to by saltwaterfish.com and they wanted to work with me on a few projects. So part of that project was going to involve me quarantining a large number of fish at one time. So obviously my 40 gallon quarantine tank that I set up a couple months ago, which if you guys wanna check that out, there's a video on that and I'll put that in a link down in the description below. So the issue was the 40 gallon breeder would not be enough to house as many fish as I was going to get at one time. So I had to develop a system for quarantining and really what this is going to serve is two purposes. One is going to be a quarantine system so I can get fish for my 220 gallon and eventually it's going to be a clownfish breeding system. So the major part of building a quarantine tank system involved drilling glass and I got to tell you before this project I was very hesitant to actually drill glass and I got to tell you after this project I'm very hesitant to drill glass. So not much has changed on that front. I went through a few aquariums actually working on this project. And if you watch the footage closely, you'll notice that the tank on the left-hand side goes from a 10 gallon to a 20 gallon. And the 10 gallon major problem with that is it just wasn't enough glass or not thick enough to actually be able to deal with being drilled. And the 20 gallon long was a tank that I had kicking around. Well, really all the tanks were kicking around they've been bought and paid for a long time ago uh, so it wasn't really any skin off my teeth cracking I believe it was three to four ten gallons during this process so um, you know life lesson I think eventually what I'd like to do is get into working with acrylic and I think that's going to make things a lot easier but until then I'm working with what I got and I really didn't want to throw any money that I had these are just tanks that were laying around so the idea behind the system is I was going to have, I believe, five 10 gallons uh, going the short way across the top. And then there was going to be a 33 gallon below kind of acting as a sump for equipment and things of that nature. Um, with the tanks not being able to you know, deal with the drilling or it was just my inexperience with it, I ended up going with two 10 gallons and one 20 gallons and that pretty much took up that space. I think uh, eventually what I could do is dr uh, drain out the 20 gallon and put a divider in there so I could have additional fish within the same tank. And the design, what I, I have these pipes that are coming down from the top, uh, there's a stand pipe on the inside of the tank and then it drains down into uh, one and a half inch. Is that one and a half? No, I think that's an inch to three quarters of an inch into a two inch main pipe which drains into the 33 gallon and the main idea with the 33 gallons is for it to act like a sump there's no baffles or anything in there it's just basically open it drains in there's a return pump on the other side as well as a 300 watt heater to maintain the water volume when you add it all up together you're looking at 73 gallons of water so a 300 watt heater should do just fine
So once I had everything dry fitted, I went back in, primed everything, and glued it. And I did a pretty solid job because I didn't have a single leak at all. Uh, one thing that did kind of lead to that middle tank cracking was this moment right here when I went to put the pick the tank up and set it down into the pipe. That's really what caused it to crack. Um, hindsight's 2020, and going forward, you know, I definitely got to make sure that I don't handle a drilled tank by the bulkhead ever again. Something else that I did with this two inch pipe, because I also kind of wanted to minimize the amount of weight pulling on those bulkheads, is I put, I got these, uh, I don't know exactly what they're called, but it's a hanger basically for the PVC pipe, and I drilled it into the bottom of the stand holding the quarantine tank system and it actually just hooks into the pipe it's pretty neat and i think that was just an additional feature that kind of supported that pipe a little bit better and it's going to minimize any type of uh, stress that could be put on that bulkhead as well as the glass of the aquarium so the two inch pipe runs the length of the aquariums and then i have this 90 degree elbow pointing down and then a much slighter elbow pointing towards a 33 gallon and all i did with this is i didn't glue any of it at all i basically just dry fit it and put it together as tightly as i possibly could just in case if i needed to make any adjustments going down the road and that's really all i have as of right now there's not much filtration going on in this system but i will be adding a protein skimmer and a bio pellet reactor at some point just not at the moment Really all I'm relying on at this point is biological filtration for the tank to maintain or be able to hold fish. So once I had the drain figured out, I needed to figure out how I was going to be putting water into the tank so it actually could drain down. And what I went with is basically kind of a spray bar model using a valve from the return pump. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for our first look at the quarantine tank system. Uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything that I'm working on and future videos as they come out. And next time we'll be taking a look at what I got for fish from saltwaterfish.com. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to support more videos like this, please visit my Patreon link down below. And if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.